So the Agullas current um, is a western boundary current, similar to the Gulf Stream, but it flows along the east coast of South Africa in the southern hemisphere in the Indian Ocean. So we're measuring the current for three years with what we call in situ uh, instruments. So the mooring instruments are physically in the water column, perpendicular to the current. So the array will be like a, you can think of it like a picket fence across the Agoas current. And on each of those moorings are current meter instruments. Um, so just uh, simply an instrument that measures how fast the current is flowing past the instrument. In fact, all these instruments are acoustic, so they have no moving parts. What's um, interesting about the way I designed the array is that I designed it over a satellite ground track, um, um, and it's an altimeter satellite. So the satellite collects uh, data about sea surface height. And from that data, when we correlate it, compare it to our in situ observations, we hope we'll be able to build up a proxy using just sea surface height variability alone to tell us how the Agolas current has varied over the last 20 years that we have satellite data and on into the future. A, a kind of cheaper way, if you like, to try and monitor the Agolas current over the long term because what we really need is multiple decadal time series of the current. You know, three years isn't enough, but we can't afford to do the in situ measurements for tens of years. Um, so with this technique, uh, we'll be able to go back to the early 90s, which is when the satellite started flying, and we'll be able to go on as long as these satellites are, are, are flying. Primary reason we're really focusing on this region, because it turns out that it could be an important region to global climate.